Welcome, welcome, welcome to part two of four of an unboxing from Diamond Art Club. I received four in a package on Monday. And this is the second one in order of size. Let me get this open for you. If you didn't tune into part one because the heading didn't appeal to you, this has been packaged in Melbourne and forwarded on. And um, this is Lover's Stroll. This says on the box it's a 40 by 32. I know it's small, there is a disclaimer on the website, I believe, saying that they understood that this was smaller than it should have been. And apologised. Oh, took it down the other way. Right, right yeah. Took it. As you have seen, there is a three placer, there is a squishy, there are some bags, there is a blue pen, and there is one, two hearts. Everything is there. Important, important, the canvas, the canvas. Will it have an, a schematic sheet? It does. Alright, schematic sheet says that was just the instructions. Who needs them? Alright, it's schematic both says 40 by 32. Uh, I'm just trying to reverse curl this. Try not to move quite so fast. Alright. And I will very quickly turn this the wrong way around. Give it a roll. Hold it for a beat. No double sided because it's probably just not big enough. Um, this is, what did I say, a four, uh, 40 by 32. 40? Area 32. Um, as you'd expect, it is really pixelated. Um, the colours are pretty. It's certainly not as detailed as it should be. I think it probably should be better as a, I don't know, 50 by 60 or something. Um, I will have to check what the Diamond Art Club have said um, about this. Um, I think they were offering refunds. I don't know if I'll take a refund on it, but um, you've got the quality of the canvas. It's a small piece to work on. It is pixelated with my two lovers down the um, middle, but it may work out okay. This was packed on the 15th of March, and here is your crap alert. Um, I've just looked in my computer um, to see the image, and despite the shine, let me get the shine out, that actually looks okay. I think that's going to come out okay as a picture um, without any issues. You can see that there's a contrast with the, we'll say for instance he is a guy because he's taller. I know, stereotypes. Um, He's got some shading on the top, so you've got the pale blue and you've got the dark blue next to it, and then you've got the shorter person. Assuming that they're lovers, then she is walking close to him, and you can see that he has one and a half legs. Who am I to um, judge these things? Alright. Oh, bigger bags. I've got, I've got three rows. Awesome, because they are much easier to manage. Right. Trusty pen. There are 38 colours in this. <coughs> uh, I can do the quick tally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. 
12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. 30, 32, 34, 36, 38. Alright, well we've got 38 colours, so that's a good start. Again, not expecting anything to be missing. Um, and we'll fly through this. 3, 8, 1, 7, 5, 9, 6, 9, oh, 9, 6, 3. Yes, I'm blocking the pink, that's why. 9, 3, 7. 470, 934, 3326, another pretty pink, 935, 894, some really pretty pink in there. Let's get the large ones out of the way. 817, 336, being the blue, 606 being a red, 823, navy, 666, beautiful red, 3371, 3371 being like a, oh, that is almost like a coffee brown black, uh, I know it's not black, because black is 310. No, that doesn't help at all. Alright, it's dark, it's not blue. 3865, excuse my ignorance, and 762 is the stray. 762. I am going to see what the name of that one is. 33713. 3, 3 is a black brand. Well, at least my eyes aren't too bad. Okay. Three, eight, two, four. All the pinks in this. Three, three, four, O. Oh. Going into fluoro orange. Three, seven, five, five. Seven, nine, nine. Three, three, two, five. Baby Blues, Purple 550, 334, Blue, 814, going into the Burgundy, 608, and the Fluoro kind of orange, 312, Blue, Flip, 327, 498, Burgundy, 819 322 154 308 209 purple 471 green and 892 in you know, like a cerise I think is the color pink all right, let's have a look. Okay, eight one seven, three three six, kind of navy, six oh six, kind of an orangey red, eight twenty three is the navy, six six six, red, three three seven one, well, that's the blacky brown, three eight six five, which is cream, and three seven two, which is like a very very pale grey. Alright, that's the short one. 798 blue. 3801, which is a kind of pinky red. 775 is a, like a minty green, minty blue, sorry, minty pale blue. And a 963, which is another pastel y pink. 937 is the green, and 470 is another muddy green, and 934 is a really dark muddy green. 3326 is a pale pink, pale heavier than the pale pale. 935 is a dark green, and 894 is um, pretty pink. Alright, start at this end. 892 is a dark pink, 
471 looks darker in real life than it does on screen. Uh, green. Uh, two purples, 280, 208 and 209. 208 being the darker. Um, kind of like a fluoro yellow, 3819. 154 is a purple. 322 is a blue. 819 is a pale pink. 498 is a burgundy, kind of cherry red. 327 is a purple, plum kind of, maybe. Uh, 312 is a blue. 608, another kind of floral orange. Burgundy, 814. A kind of... Uh, I'd almost kind of call that a combat blue. 334. 550 is a beautiful purple. 3325 is a pale blue. 799 is a darker blue. And 3755 is kind of in between the two. And then onto a couple of fluoro oranges. 3340 and 3824. There you go. Everything here. Um, everything perfect as you would expect from a diamond art club. And then. Um, yeah, it definitely looks better on screen than close up. I'm sure if I was at the same distance from the camera is, um, that would look just as good to my naked eye here. The glue stops right on the edge. No kidding, that has no overlap on this end. It goes right to the edge, it does have a little bit of an overlap on that end. Uh, let me flip this over. There is the tiniest of overlaps there. The canvas is good and sticky. Well, there's some funny, I know it's poured, so I'm not stressed that there isn't enough glue on it, but there's certainly some funny things. Maybe the air has got into it, I think that might be it. With some little ripple, ripple, ripple. Let's see if I can put a little bit of pressure on to get some more contact with that and get it smooth. Um, yeah, let me see if I can show this to you. What you're after is where the shine ends. There we go. Where are you? Do you see that the shine literally starts on that first square? and there is no shine on the white. That's how close it is, which isn't a problem, um, but just letting you know. All right, that is something funky on the contact. Boogers in the blue. gone. Alright, that is two of four. Tune in for the next one. Bye!